Now let's try to understand the project architecture and the some of the business use case and some of the customer requirement and how actually in real world we use a data factory. Okay. So suppose what actually happens? Suppose uh, we have one company on which we have one application. Let's suppose this is the web apps. Let's say we also have some kind of the IoT devices and these devices are continuously streaming and sending the data okay suppose this is continuously sending the data and suppose we are storing the data into a storage account okay this is nothing but our uh, data lake or we can say this is the data lake where we are actually cap continuously cap cap capturing the data now we have a data and we have the data stored into a data lake now we want to do some kind of the activity because what actually happen is like in data lake we capture everything means every information we capture from the web apps and from the iot but if you want to do for the specific analysis suppose you have an analysis right you want to know like who is the my top 10 customer who is using all my feature which is available in a web application okay so in that kind of the scenario the all the data which is available in data like that will not be important for you you have only the specific uh, requirement right so to achieve this kind of the environment we use a azure data factory on which what actually we do is like we try to take a specific data we try to perform a some kind of the transformation because in data like whatever the data will be available this all will be a raw data this will be a raw data okay so what actually we do we suppose we are performing any kind of the copy or any kind of the transformation activity into a ADF that anyway we are going to look so that kind of the activity we perform into ADF and we try to store into a particular location. Suppose you want to store into a SQL database, Azure SQL database or any other DB. Okay. Once you load the data into a particular DB on the top of it, you will perform a kind of the analysis. Once you have data available into a proper structure format, here you will perform a analysis and uh, we can say reporting by using Tableau or Power BI or whatever the tool available. So this is a particular uh, flow actually we follow in any kind of the application. Okay. First uh, we try to store data into a data lake after that we do a transformation we try to store into a database and after that once we have a proper structure for me we do a reporting on top of it so this is only the simple use case which uh, i am showing you but there are so many things that actually differ based on the requirement we can have multiple layer here before coming to the data lake that is also possible because we are using a streaming data right for that also the particular services we can use that anyway we will look into a different use case but uh, this is a simple use case just for the uh, just for the understanding purpose okay